Making their way onto the course for tonight's first race, the $100,000 Ohio Sire Stake Championship for freshman Philly Trotters. A winner of five of eight starts in her debut season with a mark of 201 and one over the Northfield half miler. Number one is Foxy Caller. She's owned by Charles Lane and she's trained and driven by Justin Hall. Closing in on $50,000 in the seasonal earnings. A five-time winner, she's finished on the board in eight of nine starts in 2002. Number two is the speedy filly, Bueno Sabra, and David Miller in the bike for trainer Gary Gilliland and owner Amy Miller. This filly returns to the evening's final after two straight Sire Stakes wins, including a two-minute and one mark taken last out at Sciota. Number three is the leading money earner in the field, Meadowland Miracle. She's owned by the North Meadow Stable, conditioned by Mike Metters, and she's driven by Jamie Dunlap. Entering her championship final, after a win at the Burden Fair last out, this is the Marty Woolham trained Chust Chudy. Owned by Monroe Weaver, she's trained by Marty Woolham, and she's driven by Don McCurgan. A two-time winner this season with a fast 2-1-1 one one mark taken to Dorothea Park in an Ohio Sire Stakes event. This is the Mystic Cole filly, Mystic Joanne. She's owned by Lionel Ray Waitaker. Trained by David Morgan, her driver is Randy Tharps. Boasting five wins and nearly $25,000 in seasonal earnings, number six is Teresa Liu. The filly is owned by the Gwynny Liu Stables Limited of Xenia. She's trained by Travis Redden, and she's driven by Del S. Miller. Entering tonight's final off an impressive come-from-behind Ohio Sire Stake score at Scioto last time out. Number seven is the four-time winner, High Gear Sabra. She's owned by Fred Polk, she's trained by Eric Nesselrode, and she's driven by Jeff Fout. Now passing the clubhouse is High Gear Sabra. And finally, this big victory filly has finished either first or second in all eight career attempts with nearly $54,000 in 2002 earnings number eight is BV Victory, owned and trained by Dwayne Lowe of Malta, Ohio. Her driver is Chip Noble. Post time for race one is in five minutes. Round out the field of two-year-old Philly Trotters. They're set to go. There, off it's Chus Chudy, quickest away from the starting gate, challenged early by Bueno Sabra from the inside, and Mystic Joanne left well from the center. Foxy Caller drives through at the pylons in fourth, and Meadowland Miracle and Dunlap will tug away in fifth. They're about six lengths off the early lead. Then a gap of two lengths back to Teresa Lou. BV Victory has about eight to make up at this stage, and is two lengths clear of high gear. Sabra as they move to the top of the stretch. Chus Chudy leads it, but Bueno Sabra and David Miller coming after her early on, a gap of two. First, Foxy is racing in third, and Mystic Joanne now lands a seat in fourth, 29 and three for the opening quarter as they pass the stands for the first time. And now Bueno Sabra clears the top spot and leads it by two. Chess Chudy is back to second, and Meadowland Miracle is making her move on the outside. Meadowland Miracle's up after the lead. She's bringing Teresa Lou with her. Third over in the flow, BV Victory is underway. And then we get Foxy Caller, High Gear Sabra, and Mystic Joanne is shuffled back to last as Meadowland Miracle sweeps to command and opens up by two. Bueno Sabra yields for a two trip followed by Teresa Lou on the outside third and they reach the half in one minute and four fifths second over in the cover flow BV victory is well within range now racing in fourth position along the rail chest Chudy shuffle back to fifth followed by high gear Sabra Foxy caller and two back to mystic Joanne and there goes BV victory up three wide to take on the tempo setter Meadowland miracle as they head for the far turn Bueno Sabra is racing in third Teresa Lou gives way three wide is high gear Sabra followed by chest Chudy 
as they pass three quarters, 129 and four. Midway through the far turn, Meadowland Miracle and BV Victory are inseparable. There's nothing between them. They're two lengths clear. A Bueno Sabra in third. High Gear Sabra is losing ground, followed by Teresa Lou and Foxy Caller on the far outside as they come down the stretch. Meadowland Miracle is game. BV Victory stuck right with her. They're still noses apart in deep stretch. Bueno Sabra is third. Meadowland Miracle, BV Victory on the outside. They're going to hit the wire together. Meadowland Miracle edges out BV Victory to take the two-year-old Philly Trot Championship final. Bueno Sabra was third, 159 and two. And race one is official. The 3 8 exact, it returns $12.20. Try 3 8 2, $24.20. And after a game performance, Meadowland Miracle returns to the winner's circle. It's her sixth win on the season and her third straight victory. She scores in a career best 159 and two. She's a two-year-old daughter of Striking Sabra, out of Charming Sabra by Arnie Almahurst, owned by the North Meadow Stable of Painesville, trained by Mike Metters, and driven a victory by Jamie Dunlap. In the winner's circle, helping to make the presentation to the winning connections, the general manager of the OHHA, Mr. Jerry Knappenberger, along with the administrator for the Ohio Standard Bread Development Fund, Doug Thomas. And ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we'll go down to the winner's circle in the USTA's John Podlock, along with winning driver, Jamie Dunlap. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Boy, I want to tell you, if they're all like this night, no wonder they call it Super Night. That was quite a drag race coming home, Jamie. I tell you what, I was sweating coming out of that bottom turn. I tell you, Chips Philly had a lot of trot left, but at Philly and Mike, she's aggressive. She don't like that anybody get by her. This Philly of yours seems to have great tactical speed. You let them go right at the start, and you came and made your move in front of the grandstand. Very classic, according to what this Philly shows in her lines. Yeah, I've done that with her the last couple times, and early in the year, we had a little bit of trouble with her behind the gate. And now she's getting pretty good. She's just growing up out of that stuff, and she's very handy right now. Then it started to get a little bit hairy going down the back straight. Uh, Three-eighths of a mile to come, and here comes your number one challenger. Yeah, Chip, he had tip three wide. A little bit of bad luck that Philly. She drew on the outside the last few starts, and I don't take anything away from her, but, I mean, we got the job done. Uh, Two-thirds of the Triple Crown in uh, your corner now. Uh, obviously, uh, the Breeders' Championship at Delaware is next on the docket for this one. Yes, yes. Good luck. Perhaps we've seen a Triple Crown winner in advance here tonight. Jamie, good luck. Balance of the night and the season. Thank you. All right, Brian, we've had a great start. Super night indeed. If they're all like this, I think we're going to make a lot of harness racing fans here tonight. Back to you, Brian.